There are many visual aids, but one of the oldest is the chalkboard and chalk. Whether you call it a chalkboard or a blackboard, you'll find it in nearly every classroom. Although it has many advantages, there are occasionally some problems. For example, perhaps you've had ghost marks left when the chalk is erased. Maybe you've had a colored drawing that just could not be removed. Or... Maybe you've had a colored drawing that just could not be removed. Or your chalk doesn't show up as well anymore and gets more difficult to erase. These problems can be solved, but to do so, you should know exactly what a chalkboard is. For years, the best chalkboard materials have been slate, wood pulp, and cement asbestos. Many other materials coated with abrasive paint also have been tried, but beware of novelty boards. You may be surprised to learn that the surface of a chalkboard is not smooth. If you were to look at it in a simplified cross-section, you could see tiny hills and valleys. This roughness is called the bite. The chalk is worn away as it moves over this rough surface, leaving a mark on the board. A good bite is essential if your chalkboard is going to read clearly and erase properly without shine or glare. Chalk is important too. All of this looks about the same, but there are differences. It's difficult to tell quality or grade at a glance. This is the best grade on the market. Technically, it contains 95% or more pure English precipitated whiting. This is medium grade chalk, which is about half domestic whiting and half common clay. It looks glazed and slick. This is the cheapest chalk. It is tapered, full of holes, and contains hard particles that may damage your chalkboard. The best chalk erases easily and completely. Medium grade chalk erases too, but is apt to leave the ghost marks that may have troubled you. Low grade chalk is more difficult to erase and leaves even more obvious ghost marks. Is it worth taking a chance with anything but the best when the difference in price between the grades of chalk is only about five cents per gross? Colored chalk quality is important too. These pieces look the same except that some are more vivid in color. But notice how the pastel colors show up better on the chalkboard. This is top quality chalk made especially for chalkboard use. This is chalk made for paper. It is difficult and sometimes impossible to erase. You won't have this trouble if you use chalk made especially for chalkboard use. It erases as easily and as completely as first grade white chalk. Chalk made for paper cannot be erased, but that doesn't mean it can't be removed. How should you normally clean a chalkboard? Never with an oil-based cleaner or one of the commercially treated cleaning cloths. Over a period of time, these oil-based cleaners will leave a shiny, oil-coated surface that has glare spots, is hard to write on and difficult to erase. If your board already has such a surface, you can remove it. Also, the ghost marks and the chalk made for paper. Use a damp cloth and a mild abrasive household cleanser. Neither the water nor the abrasive will harm a good chalkboard if used properly. 
but test in an obscure corner first. If no finish is removed, you are reasonably safe in proceeding. It takes only a light rubbing to remove these three troublemakers. After the marks are gone, erase, wash, and rinse the board thoroughly with clear water in order to remove the dissolved chalk. If you don't do this, the dissolved chalk will be deposited in the valleys of the chalkboard surface, gradually giving the board a smooth, biteless surface that is difficult to write on and causes glare. Avoid this by always rinsing the board thoroughly with clean water and then allowing it to dry, preferably overnight. After the board has dried, it must be broken in in the same way as a new board. Hold the chalk flat and rub it over all of the writing surface. Then erase it. This leaves a thin film of chalk which is necessary for writing and erasing ease. For regular cleaning, use the dry cleaning method. A good grade felt eraser with several strips of felt is recommended. To remove still more of the chalk, use a piece of Turkish toweling or a chamois. With a chamois backed eraser, you can wipe off the bulk of the chalk with the felt side and finish up with the chamois side. Clean the chamois side frequently with a cloth. You can keep your erasers and chalk tray clean by using an eraser cleaner regularly. Building custodians will usually perform much of this work, but you should make sure that the chalkboard is clean and well chalked in whenever you use it. With your chalkboard in good condition, there are lots of ways to use it for better teaching. With the whole class, of course. And with small groups. Use your chalkboard for individual work, too. Its size alone sometimes aids in solving problems and presenting ideas. To make complicated chalkboard work simple, there are many aids you can buy or make. For repetitive work, a simple template may be cut from hardboard or plywood. Notice how the handle makes it easier to use. These outline templates may be made for many purposes. They ensure a true picture quickly. A school-made large-scale T-square is a good aid for making straight lines. Triangles have many uses. An adjustable parallelogram, which may be made or purchased, makes various angles as well as horizontal and vertical parallel lines. This easy to make guide helps draw a series of parallel lines. It's easy to use opaque or overhead projectors to transfer illustrations to chalkboards. On another occasion, this same teacher is using a film strip projector. Notice that she is using a felt nib pen to make a permanent outline on an auxiliary chalkboard. You might find or buy an extra piece of chalkboard 
or you may make one by painting a piece of plywood with chalkboard paint. This is a special paint, so follow the directions carefully. The permanent lines do not erase, so you can quickly illustrate a variety of things on the same basic outline. You'll have ideas for using this technique in your teaching. In drawing, notice how much less effective the house made with weak lines is than that made with strong ones. Make a forceful illustration with confidence and emphasis. Simplicity accents sharpness. The sharper the illustration, the stronger the sense impression will be. Color adds emphasis. Use it to focus attention. In this more advanced situation, a technical diagram illustrates the action of water and sunlight on growing plants. You may already know many ways to use colored chalk in your teaching situations. Remember to use the right kind, made especially for chalkboards. Simple cartooning will give you lively illustrations that will be remembered longer. A circle creates cartoon characters. Lines turning up show happiness. Those turning down, unhappiness. Stick figures can be made in a variety of poses. An inexpensive book on stick figures will be helpful. Additional lines, directional arrows, and speed lines can make your cartoons move. Don't try to be realistic. Sketch quickly and briefly. It's easier than you think. Fancy scripts and old English lettering are too difficult to read and to do. Good chalkboard lettering should be bold and purposeful. Strong, clear, vigorous writing that can be read from the back of the room attracts and holds attention. You'll find that guidelines are real aids to lettering and writing. These faint ones can be seen easily only by those near the board. They are being made with a water crayon of a color similar to that of the chalkboard. These lines won't erase, but they can be washed off. If you want more permanent lines, use a felt nib pen, but remember they will be difficult to remove. As you are seeing, chalkboards have many uses and advantages. For example, they are readily available. They are stimulating to fast and slow learners alike. Have you ever noticed how some of your best ideas come in the middle of a lesson? The readily available chalkboard quickly and easily helps to visualize your point so all will understand. Chalkboard illustrations can show action. The drawing of these lines on a chalkboard map involves action and makes learning more interesting. It also increases retention. Chalkboards help develop logical sequence. Take this group, for instance. The flexibility of the chalkboard helps the instructor expand his work at the proper speed for each class. Good chalkboard work involves student ideas. This is not a teacher-illustrated lecture. In this well-taught lesson, the students contribute their ideas and information. The technique is identical in the developmental approach, regardless of the subject area or grade level. Chalkboard work focuses attention. This student is highlighting a lesson for the class by listing these specific points. Be sure that your chalkboard use permits group participation. Most teachers find frequent opportunities to send part of their students to the board while the rest of the class does the same work at their seats.
Chalkboards are adaptable. Notice the many different ways these teachers are using chalk and chalkboards. We've just reviewed seven ways that chalkboards help make teaching better, but there are many more. Put your imagination to work. Use the right chalk, take proper care of your chalkboard, and you'll enjoy many experiences of better, more satisfying teaching. <laughs>